ang Ka Fitness 101 at kahit tayo ay naka-lockdown pa rin po, it's not an excuse for us not to exercise. Kaya naman, dito sa Good Morning Kuya, patuloy po kami nagbibigay sa inyo ng mga fitness tips at fitness exercises na pwede niyong gawin sa loob ng inyong mga tahanan. This morning, makakasama pa rin po natin si Coach J.R. Madriaga. Hi Coach! Good morning! Hi there, Rins. Good morning. Good morning, Kuya. And uh, glad to be back. Ayan, dahil na-request ko itong exercise na ito, dahil napapansin ko nga, marami sa atin ang nagkakaroon ng problema when it comes to their posture. Dahil nga tayo ay lagi nakababad doon sa ating desk and of course yung ating mga laptop or computers, diba? So, importante rin na mapangalagaan din natin yung posture natin ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Tama ba ako, Coach? Exactly, exactly, Rins. Uh, because of the position na nakaupo ka, it's very easy to... Uh, you know, assume that slouch back position. So, kung mm-hmm. ba ka, mag, uh, mag uh, the dropping shoulders mo, like uh, what you call it, taping in. And that uh, basically, you know, create a, uh, a bad habit. It becomes a habit eh. So, yung rounded back or uh, slouch uh, back posture. At kung ready na yung ating mga ka-fitness one na sabayan tayo dito sa ating beginner's postural workout, let's do this. Ihanda nyo na po ang inyong mga sarili so first one will perform uh, what we call the child's pose. It's a child's pose, so ginigamit ng mga position ng mga bata to eh. So bending from your knees and then inupuan mo ba basically yung heels mo, no? inupuan mo yan. With your thighs together, so mm-hmm. nakaklip yung legs mo and then you bend down, you bend over. Uh, first, I'll give you a, a variation, no? so you have arms straight and uh, just make sure to put pressure to your ankle, no? So, ibaba mo talaga yung butt mo, yung hips mo. And uh, mm-hmm. keep your arms uh, straight. Uh, mm-hmm. In fact, you can you can start off with your, ano eh, on, on your uh, fingers lang, fingertips. So, straight chan, and then on your fingertips lang. Yes, yes, yes. You start off with that. Yeah. Now, go down now. Uh, all the way down to the floor. All the way down to the floor. Sige, balik mo yung, yung kaninang position. Perfect. Right there. Yeah. Just drop it. Relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. You know. You have to relax your uh, your muscles. Para magdrop yan. Kapag especially kapag medyo cold ka man, medyo tight pa yung mga muscles eh. Now, rinse. We move on to our next uh, movement. This is what you call the forward fold. So you have to stand up, no? Uh, standing up. So tayo ka. Okay. So legs apart. Mga shoulder width lang. Mga shoulder width. Okay. Perfect. And then you'll bend over, okay? Now, pag bend over mo, okay? Uh, kapag stiff yung hamstrings mo, uh, you can actually bend your knees, slightly bend your knees, right there. So bend your knees, perfect. And then so that you can reach for your uh, uh, toes, no? Okay. Reaching to your toes, yan. But eventually, as you get better, no? Uh, mag- magiging stiff yung legs mo, mas straighten out mo pa yan. But uh, it takes time, you know? It's a gradual practice. Uh, over a period of time, the body will adjust. Uh, that stretches your hamstrings, your lower back. Also, a good way of uh, lengthening or stretching your spine uh, mm-hmm. after that long sitting position, okay? With a bad posture, okay? The third one, rings is cat-cow. So you have to kneel down, okay? Dulut ka. Thighs apart, ah, lulud ka. And then arms straight, bend over. Arms straight, uh, bring your arms uh, to the floor. Now make sure, make sure, para kang quadruped. Pero keep your arms, yes. Yung shoulders mo should be in line with your wrist. Pantay na pantay yung uh, shoulder to wrist. Yeah. Okay. Now, the move, tapos yung knees mo, pasok mo pa siya ng konti. Forward mo ng konti yung knees. Okay, kailangan yung hips mo. Uh, on top of your uh, knees, perfect. Create that rounded back, and then after do it, yes. Create the rounded back, go as high up. Yung kaya mo lang naman, okay? That stretches your spine, your uh, your back muscles, even the shoulders. No, from that position, you'll drop it. You go to the opposite. No, you'll have to push it down, and then next stick out your tailbone. Mo, yung kanina you are actually. Uh, 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 bringing in your tailbone, but this one you're sticking out, sticking it out. But keep your arms, keep your arms straight, arms straight. 
ko man arms straight, diretso lang yung kamay yan. And then, grade the opposite direction, no? Chest, mag-arch yung lower back mo, mag-arch siya. Okay? And then, move back again to that rounded position, the cat position. And then, the last one, rings, is floor supine. So, the floor supine, uh, you have to, uh, when you say supine, that means nakahiga ka facing up. So, that's what you call supine. Now, knees bent up, no? And then, yung arms mo, uh, naka-pesto sa labas. Perfect. Now, bend your elbows, mga 90 degrees muna. Bend your elbows. Create that letter L. It's the letter L. Okay, bend the elbows pa. Bend the elbows pa. Okay, from that position, bring it down. Come on. Uh, downward. Yeah, perfect. That's it. That's it. But keep your arms down to the floor. Talagang naka, yan, nakalapat sa floor. So, actually, you're sliding it. So, and then press it up. Sliding up, straight up, arms out, yan. Full arm extension, and then back to the starting position. Ayan, maraming salamat again, Coach JR Maldiaga. Ito pa lang po ang ating part one ng ating postural exercise. At next week, abangan niyo po mga ka-fitness 101 ang part two ng ating postural exercises. Dito lang yan sa Fitness 101.